Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to set up my options within Alias 2025. Now, there has been a lot of updates since Alias 2024. I'm going to just call it Alias 24, uh, just to make it simple. So this is what Alias 23 looked like, and this is what Alias 25 looks like. Now, there's been a lot of uh, UI updates um, since 24. 25 and 24 are similar, but I do suggest getting the latest 25 because uh, there's been some marking menu changes in sub D menu. So I would suggest that you download at least 25 instead of 24. All right, so this is the welcome screen that you get. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to turn this off like this, and I'm gonna start with uh, docking the menus. There are two ways to dock the menu. You can either use the shift left mouse button and move it around like this, or you can use the middle mouse button like this. Either one works. So in order to dock the menu, all you have to just drag it using your middle mouse button or shift the left mouse button and just drag it until you get a blue bar like this and just dock it like that. Now, if I just expand the menu, you'll see that it's a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on toggle view mode like this and it's going to give me a classic look. I'm just going to drag it over here so that the interface and the menu locations are very similar to how it was in Alias 23. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is go through the mark menu. So the marking menu right now is in the default mode and it's a little bit different. One of the key difference is in the control shift right mouse click and you'll see that it's a little bit different from before. So instead of, well, let's go to 2023 or 23, you'll see that there's toggle grid, toggle model information window, things like that. But within at least 25, you will see that now it's toggle models uh, is a little bit different location. Now it's, uh, and also information window is gone, invisible, visible, and toggle grid is also disappeared. Now, there has been also an update on what's called a uh, puck. Uh, it's a new interface. It, it is kind of similar to the marking menu, but it's a little bit different. So if you press Z, it's going to pop it up and it's going to, uh, if you click and hold like this, you'll see that it's uh, it stays up and I can click on subdiv, detail, things like that. You can also expand it to get more menu. And there, if you click on this one, you'll get a different uh, set menu like this. You can always expand it back down. I do prefer just to keep it in subdiv um, as needed. So this is a little bit difference too. Now back to the marking menu. In order to use the same marking menu as me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to preferences and I'm going to just go to marking menu. And instead of using the default, I am going to use the classic. So I'm just going to do this and it's going to give you the exact same marking menu as you had before in 2023 and before. All right, so, uh, and let's, uh, now that's done, let's go ahead and go over um, anti-alias settings. So if I were to click on these two, and I'm just going to paste it over here, you'll notice that the display is a little bit different between 23 and 25. And the reason for that is the display setting. So what you wanna do is I'm just going to go to visual uh, display over here and I'm going to turn on anti-alias and I'm just going to click on the options box and I'm going to just turn it off. Now, the reason why I turn off is because I think this display is actually not that good. And the reason for that is if I, right now you'll notice that the C, uh, uh, there are two CUSs over here and there's only one over here. And if you look at this, I cannot identify, the, uh, I can clearly identify that there, uh, this one has multiple COS stacked on top. But with the uh, anti-alias on for the wireframe, if I do this, they look exactly the same. So I do think that anti-alias off, uh, well, it's not exactly off, um, but I do like it having an off. Uh, I think the model actually looks better. And so, yeah, I'm just going to turn that off and that's going to clearly display the model as intended. 
All right, so next thing, I'm going to just go through the Windows options. So if you go to Preferences, and I'm just going to go to General Preferences like this. Now, this was an update that was in, uh, done in Alias 25 and I believe later. Um, so if you look at this, you are able to very freely change the size of the menu as needed. Now, previously, this was not possible, and especially for people who run a, a dual monitor system, and maybe one is a full HD and the other one is maybe a 4K, it was really hard to scale the system or scale the alias window. And if you were to go back between the windows, it would create some problems. Either the menu would be too small or too big, things like that. But uh, with the update, uh, the display uh, moving from one window or one display to the other, uh, there is no issue. Um, so I'm just going to keep it at display scale 100%. And that's a setting I'm going to be using. All right, so the last thing I'm going to be covering is the construction options. So I'm going to be using um, alias tutorial. So I'm just going to open up a uh, file. So I'm going to say file, I'm going to say open. I'm just going to providing. Uh, I'm going to be providing this uh, all uh, this file to all of you guys. So just open a construction options uh, file, and I'm going to. Well, you can delete or keep. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to say delete, and when this window pops up, I want you guys to click accept new. Now the default is a little bit loose. I think the construction settings are a little bit loose to create new file. So this is the construction options I'm going to be using. Uh, if you follow my demo and you want similar result, you want to you you want to make sure that the interface and also the construction options are as similar as possible. So let me just go through it. So if I go to construction options, so this is user defined, um, but I'm going to go uh, go ahead and click on alias tutorial. Uh, now, these are the most critical. So uh, for position, I'm going to be setting as 0 0.01, normal 0 0.1 and curvature continuity at 0.1. Now these are tight enough that you can make a decent model, but it's loose enough and then you're not going to be dealing with every single issues. So I do suggest that you guys use this, uh, use this options exactly to make sure that you guys get the similar result throughout modeling. All right, um, so that is it for how to set up my options. Want to learn Autodesk Alias and Digital Sculpting? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you'll find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.